there, there are a number of issues. One is a psychological issue. I've had a, uh, a major operation that has uh, removed my ability or eliminated my uh, ability to bear children. Big issue, big psychological issue. When you talk about uh, a total abdominal hysterectomy with removal of the ovaries as well, the ovaries in women is the organ that offers approximately 50% of the hormones that women need to feel sexual. And so having a hysterectomy uh, and oophorectomy where the ovaries are removed are removing a major source of hormones. Uh, there are nerves um, in uh, a, and around the cervix that are, that are potentially affected uh, during an operation that can decrease sensation as well. The real point of this is that there are remedies for people who have had a hysterectomy and are noticing a decline in sexual response. And those remedies can be easily identified with certain testing, certain questionnaires, certain laboratory evaluations. The other obvious concern is that some hysterectomies are done for major cancer issues. And then we talk about the whole psychological aspect of being a cancer survivor and their ability, a woman's ability to be sexual as well. So they're both physical, emotional, and hormonal concerns that we have to look at when we address these issues. The Department of Sexual Health is a unique facility dedicated to evaluating and treating both men and women for sexual dysfunction. We are proud to offer such a facility and reach out to our community in an effort to raise awareness about the potential risks that cause sexual dysfunction. We believe that this private issue is becoming more open to discussion with the men and women of today, and we are here to help rekindle relationships as well as teach wellness, healthy lifestyles, and bring back a quality of life we all deserve. At the Department of Sexual Health, we are here for you when you're ready for us.